17 right now. You've got Mark and Natalie, and uh, once again, we have somebody else in our guest seat again today. Grandma Lee is with us. How are you? I'm good. Do we call you Lee? Do we call you Grandma? You, you can call me Grandma Lee. I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. Okay. Well, she's a big, she, she's been the big winner now. Uh, well, actually, you didn't win no. on America's Got Talent. But I think a lot of people, in fact, there were some people who we talked to, I won't mention any names, Terry Fader, who came in and said that he thought you were the best on the show. Really? Yeah. Have you met Terry since you've been Terry back in the Terry the show. Yeah. I saw him at the show. I talked to him over that. And then, what did he A lot of people thought I would win. Yeah. In fact, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, as many people have come up and told me, oh, okay, don't come to the president win. But, but I mean, you. But my you, friend, my best friend won. Yeah. He's my best friend now. You've been doing, you've been doing comedy though know, for quite a few years. Twelve years. Twelve years. So how did that whole thing start? I mean, it, I mean, you're gonna, you'll tell us how old you are. You're, I'm seventy-five. You're seventy-five. Yeah. I mean, there's no everybody in the world knows it now, so. <laughs> well, to lie. it's not like you know you're calling yourself Grandma I'm, Lee, so I'm I mean. Twenty-three. <laughs> Twenty-three. <laughs> no, no. So I mean, so obviously you were in your sixties when you started yeah, this. I mean. Yeah. What, what made you say when you were 60, you said, I'm going to go out and do comedy? I always wanted to. Yeah. Always wanted to. What did you do before? I uh, raised a family, worked at the phone company, used to teach school, but I hated that. Yeah? I had a few opportunities I missed along the way. When I first got out of college, I was working in Cleveland for the press. And this guy up there um, who worked at the press, he thought I was the funniest person he'd ever seen. And he was going to hook me up with, with Jack, um, Jack Lauder okay. for the Tonight Show. And, um, then, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Thanks, man. And after Steve Allen. <laughs> so, so um, unfortunately, the guy that's going to introduce me, his wife left him and he committed suicide, so I don't get any of that Wow. You're so from Oklahoma? I, I was born in Oklahoma City. Oh. Which explains the hair. The Indian, the Indian hair. Is that the Oklahoma haircut? No, it's the Mo haircut. But uh, is that the Mo yeah, haircut? I'm a little bit about that on my ass. <laughs> Oh, about, the, about your hair? My mouth. So, and you're going to be performing starting tonight over at Palace Station. Yeah. You're going to be there through the weekend? Yes. And folks can come out and see you. The tickets are still available? I believe so. Okay. I wouldn't know, but I think so. Well, you're not working the ticket counter now? No, not today. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your stick? Well, I just, I talk about everything. I talk about kids, and politics, TV, yeah. old people dating. You date? Old people dating. Old people dating. What's it? What's it? I mean, have you been dating? No. No. But I you, bet you've gotten offers since. Friends? Yeah. Is that where you get your ear from? Friends, uh, you just stuff like uh, at a blind date, like you was cataracts. What do you look for in a guy? Um. What do I look for in a guy? Nice booty. I love a guy that smokes. A I can smoke some wine. I think she's going to say something else. Oh, there is something else I'll look at, but we won't go into that. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that, really. Uh, America's Got Talent, when you were on that show, uh, did, did, did you sign up for it? Did somebody put you up to it? How did that all It was really right? weird. Joe, the guy who bonkers. Okay, right. Joe Santelipo, he's out of Orlando. Right. And I've worked for him as well as a bunch of other bookers. Uh -huh. So he called me one day and he said, but he said, um, a lot of people want clips of you booking people. And I said, well, see, I'm computer illiterate, but I have a little bleep on my computer that a friend put on for when I was on Last Comic Standing. So I had him email that to Joe. And he called me literally the next day and said, you're not going to believe this. He said, I got your thing. And about 10 minutes later, America got talent called and they wanted to see some clips and I sent them yours. And they loved you. They want you to audition. You don't have to send them on. Very nice. Lucky. So he said, can you go to Miami this weekend? I said, no, I'm working. When's the next one? He said, Houston. So I went to Houston. And that's, and that's and, where all And um, I performed for two or three guys. sent me down the hall. Two or two of the others. They said, okay, you're going to Vegas. But they told a lot of people they were going to Vegas. They did not go, but they told me and told me I was going to Vegas. So I went to Vegas, and uh, we stayed at the Palms. And there was hundreds of people, you know. And they picked the top 40, and I was on top 40. And we started going to LA, looking at the nation. But it was awesome. Wow. And, uh, and we're going to put the information on our website at kwnr.com on the Mark Hanley page about tickets for the show that you're going to be doing. I don't know if you heard the news this morning or not, but David Hasselhoff says he's not going to be back on the show next season. Oh, he did? What do you think about that? I liked him. Yeah. Is he a nice guy? Very nice. Yeah, in person. You know, he, he uh, 
I used to watch Young and the Restless like 30 years ago, and uh -huh. he was on it. Oh, yeah? And, and, and he looks the same. That was before Knight Rider, though. Had to have been before. I don't know, maybe, but he looks the same. He looks the same. Did you what guys go have a burger or anything? No, <laughs> no I should have had a burger. You were going to say, did you have a drink? I know what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> you were sure, yeah. Well, Grandma Lee, it was great to, great to meet you, and uh, we look forward to a couple of nights over at the uh, Palace Station, though.